Right, getting into the bunker. Hand down the bricks, trying to break my ankle. This is where get the torches on. Oh, torch oh it's a bit flooded. Wow. This is this will probably be something like the Amai storage room or one of the engine rooms. That river ventilation shaft in that corner. There is a lot of stuff at this site. It's incredible, right? So you hear noises everywhere. It's just sort of it gives you that adrenaline rush. That's why I do have an exploring. It's just the adrenaline rush that you get from being in these places that put you out of your comfort zone. What's up here? Well, this this will be where the actual anti-aircraft gun would have sat. All these boxes would have been for ammunition storage, and the main gun would be sat on this swivel. A bit wet. Oh, this place is incredible. A place like this should be opened up as some sort of museum to history. Because this is what would have protected everyone from getting blown up by Germans. And that looks like the hatch into that room we just looked at. Right, that battery explored that. We're moving on to another one I can see over here. I can see some small bits of rubble over there. But we'll have a look, right? We'll find a way around. Because this place is pretty overgrown, it looks like someone has it. People haven't really been here for a while. So, you find a way around. There it is. There's rubble everywhere. There's bricks, there's breeze blocks, there's concrete. This looks like it's going to be on a similar design to the other one we just looked at. It's got a tree growing in the middle. That is some. This one's way more overgrown, but it just. Wow. Wow. I'm not sure how many of these batteries are on site. But this that's the second one I've done. Looks like there is another one over there, but it looks slightly different. There's they're everywhere. This is an incredible site. It's some sort of entire building complex. I didn't really see it from afar, but it's massive. I got my torch, I'm so sure. This place is incredible. Right, so the explore carries on. This is the fourth gun battery I've found so far. And it's quite overgrown. Yeah, it's this one's probably the most forgotten about one. Because I'm coming up on it now is a massive underground bomb store. It's like a massive bunker. This is one of the entrances to it. It's sort of locked. And the hatch is here. Right, I'm heading down into the bunker. That floor. Wow. The floor. Ceiling. The floor does look like it is a bit wet and damp. Found another hatch into the bunker. That was like a service hatch, not really big enough for me to get in. Oh, the bunker is buildings. These look like you know, they've got steps into it, so it must be man made. They've been filled in though, which is sort of annoying. Here's another big bunker. That's one of the main access hatches. There's a side hatch, and probably ventilation. Best explore I've done in 2021 so far. Right, we're going in, boys. This is where it gets interesting. A bit squidgy. Spiders. If you've got arachnophobia, don't even bother going in places like this. But I don't. I've got a mild arachnophobia, not really that big. This is sort of like the best place for a horror movie. It's cold. Like when you walk in, it's so cold. It just feels so weird. 